guys. Welcome to my first official YouTube video. My name is Alicia Rubia. Um, today we are going to be doing some makeup as it's Monday. I'm going to be doing some sort of look, but I'm going to be using all my favorite products um, that I've bought throughout the years. I'm in no way affiliated, sponsored by any of these companies. Um, I just love their stuff. We're going to do a full face. Uh, can't tell if it's going to be glam, natural. I'm not quite sure what the hell we're going to get up into, but let's get started. So first you got to get rid of them crusty crusts. Clip this hair back here. Get that out of my face. Yeah. Got these clips on Amazon. 24 pack for $8, people. The deals, all the deals, all the deals. Okay, we don't have to look cute. And I don't look cute, so that's good. <laughs> First, I'm gonna be using the Hot Springs Hydrating Gel by Urban Decay. I got this at Winners for $19.99. Um, it's fantastic, it's super, super hydrating. So we're gonna stick this all over my face. Get myself a massage. You want to put a good, decent layer on this. You want to go down in the neck and you want to rub that shit upwards. Nobody likes a double chin, even though I do have one. That's all right, though. Just more to love. Then I'm going to go in with a Smashbox, their original photo finish uh, primer. This stuff I've been using for years. I got this at a drugstore, uh, Shoppers to be exact, and it is great. This shit is the bomb. So again, rub this all in just like you would. I even put this on my eyelids. Rub it in like you would with your hydrating cream. And up on the neck, up on the neck. Do it, do it real good. Okay. I am not looking pretty so far. <laughs> okay. Next, I'm gonna go in with the BH uh, Liquid Foundation by BH Cosmetics. This is my absolute favorite foundation. I use it on my clients. They have so many different colors and the formula is just BH Cosmetics, keep doing you. I just dab, dab, dab a this all over my face, okay? There ain't no special way to do it. Some people apply it with their sponge, with their brush, with their fingers. Not me. <clears throat> um, this is a soaked sponge, blending sponge. Uh, I've clearly had this one for a long time. I believe I got this one at Winners as well. Um, but yeah, so I dampen mine, squeeze it out, uh, and it just it just blends your foundation and your concealer so much better being damp. I find. I am using the f <laughs> the two hundred four. So this is a natural beige. This is my pretty much all year round color. Um, I am half native, but I am a native from the east coast of Canada, and we is white, okay? So you're gonna dab, 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 rue it all over your face. You won't get right up in there, you won't get right up in the eyes. Another thing, you wanna blend up into your hairline, people, okay? You don't do that also. Huge thing when I'm doing weddings. Get on the damn ear, get into the ear, go down your neck. Lord have mercy, do not stop where your, ch where your chin and your jawline stops. Blend it, blend it out. It doesn't take that long. Look at this, my whole face is covered. And it took me like no time. I find it does have a bit of a glow. Uh, it's not super mattifying. I just love it. I like the way it looks on my skin and it seems to work on all my clients and they're usually really happy with it. Also very affordable. Thank you, BH Cosmetics. 
Okay. Next up, we are going to go in with the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camel Concealer. This is the color Fair Warm. Um, I don't think I've actually used this color yet before. I have used light peach. So we'll see how this goes. This might be white, too white. Let's see. Okay, no, no, it's not too bad. I am a whitey, so. So I do a little bit of a chicken foot on my forehead and then I bring the leg down. And underneath the eyes, of course. A little bit down into the inner cheek. The chin, along the jawline because we want to make it look skinny and sexy. This is some white ass shit. That's all right though, it's really kind of dry. Not sure how I'm feeling about this color. If you can tell, I have, um, it looks like I have eyeliner on. It's permanent. I had tattoos done. Thank you, Jamie Jolly and Bancroft. So I like to bring this up my cheekbone where I'm going to lay my highlight later on. You can go over the eyelid a little bit. Blend, 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 blend. It's doing its job. It's doing its job. You gotta blend. You gotta blend that shit, <laughs> honey. Okay. We're gonna come in with the e.l.f. Dewey Setting Mist. The stuff smells like freaking down south. Like put a damn margarita in my hand. Mm, 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 mm. Smells like coconuts. Just kind of dab, 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 root that in there. Help it all stay. Set that shit in. And here we are, blank face, ready to contour. I'm gonna be using the Tartiste Contour Palette. Uh, you can obviously tell this has been used a lot. Um, it smells amazing, it smells like baked goods, which I, I'm so about, I am so about it. Um, I use their three, four, well, I guess this would be the three contour um, in this shade. Uh, so I'll start off lining my cheekbones. You know, you gotta snatch that out. When you're not a skinny girl, you gotta snatch it out. So I tend to go fairly, fairly dark starting off with my contour. It will fade with, with time throughout the day. You know, makeup ain't permanent. I'm gonna go along my hairline. I actually like get in the hair, <laughs> honey. Be <laughs> blend, you gotta blend, you gotta blend it. This is gonna make me look like I actually, you know, got a little bit of sunlight, which I didn't, cause I barely leave the home. So, <sighs> thank you quarantine. Also go along the jawline. Blend it. Now a lot of girls do the nose. We're gonna do the nose today, okay? This ain't a skinny brush. I'm gonna squeeze it with my fingers and line my nose. Now I don't usually do this. This is, I'm not a nose snatcher here, but you know what? It's my first video, we're gonna go all out. Bring it up and kinda put a little bit into the eyelid, it'll help set it. Okay, we gonna bake, we gonna bake. We wanna bake before we do the eyeshadow, the eyeliner, the eyebrows, okay? Um, my favorite uh, setting powder is the Locket Translucent by Kat Von D. She did good with this, she did good with this. This is tiny, this is a tiny version because this girl's cheap. I love it. I love it, I love it. I use it all the time. Kat Von D did real good when she did this. We are gonna bake where that concealer was put. And we're gonna keep that big there while we do the eyes. The line underneath your contour the lighter parts of the face, along the chin to set that shit, on the mustache, and then we're gonna go in on the forehead. Okay, we are baked. So now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. This is my natural brow, what I have on my face right now. 
They're very flat. Uh, I don't have much of an arch, but they're full. Um, they make my face and they're me, so I love them. Um, I'm just gonna go in with the Marilyn Monroe Hard Candy Brow Pencil. Precise Brow Pencil, sorry. It's got the spool on the end to brush through the brow, and then it'll, it's, honestly, I don't know what color this is. I'm thinking it's taupe, so we're gonna, we're gonna go with that. Um, when I'm doing a more natural look, I don't go in, I don't go far onto my inner eyebrow. I just kind of do the ends, the middle to the ends, just filling them holes and kind of bringing her out into a point. These brow pencils are my favorite. They're so easy. This one I got at Walmart. It was like five bucks. So there's the eyebrow. We're gonna do the next one. This is my better eyebrow, if you guys can't tell. It takes me a lot less time, a lot less product. It's always there for me when I need it. And there we have it. The eyebrows is done. Now we're gonna get into the eyes, folks. Um, I'm gonna be using the Naked Tour uh, palette by Urban Decay. I got this palette from my girl Mara, she's my hairdresser. She'd be making me look fresh. So it's a beautiful, 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 very natural palette. I have no idea what colors I'm gonna use, so we just gonna play it by ear. I just buy brushes that are nice and soft and blend well. I could care less where they're from, I could care less how expensive they are. Um, I believe this one is a BH Cosmetic Studio Pro brush. So I'm gonna take the lightest color in the palette, and we are gonna go over the lid here. This is just gonna be a decent base. Okay, okay. I am gonna pick up on this brown shade here. We're gonna use it on the outer corner. This one's called Tease, this color. Um, I'm gonna do the outer corner here. And blend, 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 blend. I might end up doing a cut crease, just to be a little different here. And we're gonna take another brush, another soft brush, don't matter where it comes from, don't matter how cheap it is. And we are gonna take the color that's in between those two colors. And we're gonna blend the inner with that darker shade. Now we're gonna get a little bit of concealer, we're gonna do a cut crease. So I'm gonna use the concealer that I used earlier for my under eyes and my chicken leg and all that. Now I have hooded eyelids. Um, makes cut creases a little bit harder. Um, when I open my eyes, you can't really see the cut crease. It's only when I really close them. So I'm gonna dab, blink, and follow where that concealer goes. We're gonna go from the inner corner and blend it out. Still leaving the, dark, the darker corner. Go in, add more concealer, and you can always go back in with your darker color and blend it, okay? Do the other eye here, and then blend that out from the inner corner yet again. The key to a beautiful shimmer on the eye is spritzing it. You're either gonna use water, you're gonna use satin spray. Girl, you could even spit on it if you want. It's a little gross. And then you're gonna go in and you're gonna pick up whatever shimmer color you have. This one is called Half Baked, okay? The second shimmer in this palette. And you're gonna start on your inner corner on that cut crease and you're gonna dub, 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 dub over that concealer, over that cut crease. This is really pigmented. Okay, so there's that eye. Gonna do the other one. I don't forget to spritz between both eyes. Hey, go member. Okay, so we got the cut crease done. And it's super, super shiny. I am gonna take another little soft brush and I'm gonna go in with the color Busted. This is dark. This is the second darkest color on this palette. Hey, go member. Hey, go member. 
We are going to go in with our liquid eyeliner. I'm using the BH liquid eyeliner in black. This stuff is amazing. And yet again, it's totally affordable. Okay, so I went ahead and did my eyeliner off camera. So now I'm going to go in with my eyelash curler. And then we're going to go in with some mascara. So I use very cheap, like I said, but this is a quality product. It's like $4. Um, Essence, I love extreme volume mascara and it's waterproof. So I just go over my upper eyelashes. And we're gonna go in now with some falsies. I love the falsies that you can get at Walmart. I swear I get all mine. There's usually like five or six sets in each pack. Um, I've been loving the Kiss 07. They're very natural, but there's a bit of a wing to them. Totally affordable. So you need to measure them up. You know what? You know what? Today I'm not gonna cut them. Today I'm not gonna cut them. So I'm using the Ardell Lash Grip. It's the clear adhesive, so it goes on white. Uh, if you put a lot on, it kind of freaks you out, but it does dry clear, okay? So you need to apply that to the lash line. And I tend to go on the lash line and a little bit underneath so it adheres to my actual lashes. Okay, now when you have the lash glue on, you want it tacky. Don't put it on right away. You want it to that tacky, tacky. Give it a little shake, give it a little blow. It adheres way better when you let it get a little bit sticky. You want that glue to be tacky. Just like your grandma's sweater. <laughs> Okay, so place it on with my fingers. Then I'm gonna go in with my tweezer. I always pinch the actual lashes to my natural lash line. It helps them stick better, keeps them there all night. Girl, you even wake up in the morning, they're still there. Lashes are on, there's still a little bit of glue that you can see, um, but they're mainly dried. Nothing bold, nothing pretty. I'm gonna go back in with my mascara and I'm gonna blend my natural lashes to the falsies. This keeps them attached all day, all night long. So now we're gonna do the under eye. I'm gonna smoke it out a little bit. So we are gonna get a little smoky with this. Just gonna take a round skinny brush. And I'm gonna go with that darker shade that I used in my inner corners. And I'm gonna bring in from my Eyeliner, I'm gonna bring it into about the middle of my eye, my under eye. Just along that lash line. Now we're gonna get that flat brush again, spritz it, we're gonna get that gold color we used for the cut crease. And then we're gonna line from the corner until we meet that dark shade under the eye. I'm happy with my eyes. I'm gonna take my bake off, <laughs> I've had it on long enough. But you're gonna take a nice fluffy brush and fluff all that bag off. So then I'm gonna take a fan brush. I have a thicker fan brush here that I'm gonna use. It's tiny, it's by e.l.f. It's my favorite for highlight. And I'm using, this is my fave, okay? Cheap, but amazing. This is the Fox and a Boss Girl Boss Marbleized Baked Highlighter. It, it's just like the Tartiste uh, Contour Palette. It smells like baked goods, it's, it's amazing. So you're gonna go in there with your brush, shake it out, shake it out. And then you're gonna go on the top of your cheekbone. Then again, back in, and the top of the cheekbone. Look at that, very natural. I do the tip of my nose, along the length of my nose, a little bit on the sides. My forehead close to my temple. And you can even do right on top of your upper lip. 
So last but not least, we got the lippies. I think, I think I'm gonna do a pink lip. So I am using the BH Cosmetics yet again, uh, their waterproof lip liner. And then this is in the color Candy. It's a very vibrant pink. And I'm gonna line my upper and lower lips. Now I bring my lip liner in all the way. Uh, I'm gonna be using gloss on top of this, not an actual lipstick. So I wanna cover as much of my lip as I possibly can. So then I'm gonna go in with my absolute favorite lip gloss. You can tell it's been used for a long time. This is like my fourth one. This is a Too Faced Lip Inject Extreme. This is the bomb diggity. It's an instant lip plumper. You can literally feel your lips swelling up. It's amazing, a comfortable swell though, okay? This stuff is the bomb.com. Then you're gonna take your setting spray. I'm just gonna use the one that I've been using this whole time. Spritz my face. Get my beauty blender and just kinda pat the areas that are non-highlighted. So that's my finished look. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm gonna be making a lot more makeup videos um, as it's kind of my passion. Um, but I will be doing some other stuff too, so keep an eye out. Subscribe.